If you want to dominate Instagram, don't do this if you want to dominate your local area on Instagram. You want real, legit, engaged followers from your area. The problem is, when you buy likes and you buy followers, you're getting quantity but not quality. Hey everyone, Krista Maysher from Krista Maysher Coaching, and today I'm going to tell you what not to do on Instagram. Are you wanting a kickstart on your business and you want to learn how to be the go-to professional in your industry? Well, guess what? I've got a free challenge for you. It's five days of coaching. It's brand new. Just go to kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. That's kristamayshore.com slash client conversion. And you'll get a free training with me for five straight days. That's going to help kickstart you as the go-to professional in your industry. So sign up and I'll see you there. But before we get into this, do me a favor, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you get content reached, pulled out to you in the future. The first thing I wanna tell you not to do is to buy likes and followers. There's a shortcut to getting more likes and followers and shortcuts are not always the best way to go. Shortcuts can actually backfire on you. Sure, your numbers might look good, but if your audience is just full of robots who say nothing of value, what's the point of even having any? The key word here is engagement. Successful social media brands are ones that connect with real people. Your money would be better used for targeting ads to get real followers than buying fake ones. The next thing you shouldn't do is post too much or too little. Figuring out the right number of posts on Instagram or any social media platform really is kind of a delicate dance that you need to do on the social media soft shoe, if you know what I mean. Too few posts and you risk looking out of touch with people or you risk being forgotten. Too many posts and you might be seeming desperate or annoying. So watch when your followers are online, pay attention to analytics and experiment with your posting schedule to discover what their content tipping point is. This brings me to the next point, which is don't ignore your Instagram analytics. Many people might not realize that like Facebook, Instagram also has an analytics feature. This feature actually tells you where your audience is from, how many people you've reached, and how many new followers you've gained, and a lot more. It's important that you're actually aware of your target audience, who they are, and your insights so you know what posts work and which ones are not working. This will also give you insight for the best times to post and the best type of content for your business. So if you're trying to raise your engagement rate, but you aren't monitoring your stats, how can you repeat your successes, right? My final tip, for your Instagram account is don't use links in your posts. Instagram doesn't hyperlink URLs and comments, so posting a long, unwidely link just looks messy. Let's get real. No one is going to type that into their browser. We don't have enough time. Little changes lead to big wins, and if you follow these little steps, you will see followers and engagement increase over time, but you've gotta be consistent. So what are some tips that you have used to increase followers and engagement? Let me know in the comments. Again, thanks so much for watching. This is Krista Mish with Krista Mish Coaching, and as always, I hope this helped you and having a great day. Hey there, I have a brand new podcast called Fired Up with Krista Mayshore, where I bring my high energy right to your ears. This podcast is available on all your favorite podcast platforms. So do me a favor, go subscribe and leave a review. All this information is free and I cannot wait to teach you everything I know. Thanks so much for watching my video. You can learn more about how to be a successful real estate professional by watching other videos that I have. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.